Hello and welcome to another video. I'm just trying to get my rating back still. So I'm going to play until I lose a game. So it could be a very short video. And obviously, yeah, my rating took a dip on the famous Black Saturday. You know, this is worse than when all the stock market went downhill. It's one of the, the most tragic events in the history of chess. And that was my move as well. God, I better actually keep an eye on what's going on. And that's when I uh, tended to lose something like 200 rating points. And I've been trying to make a recovery ever since. So I'm exactly, that's what I'm doing here. And we're punting my favourite. God, I'm getting better at saying that word. Favourite or favourite? Who knows? Uh, opening, which is indeed... The classical Dutch. Now, obviously, you can buy my Dove ID on this, and um, you know, etc., etc. If you really want to, uh, from GingerGM.com. Lovely, brilliant DVD. If I don't say so myself, I mean, been rated uh, up there with the likes of the Budapest Hotel. Um, it was one of the best uh, productions of the last year or so, um, apparently. That's what Leonardo DiCaprio said. He said, well, you know, The Reverend was a damn good movie. I'm happy with my Oscar. But apart from that, my other favourite production of uh, the last decade or so has been The Killer Dutch by Simon Williams. So, um, I'm expecting an Oscar soon. Let's put it that way. What's going on here then? Well, I've had this kind of thing. If you've seen my videos before, this kind of position, I've had dozens, hundreds, probably thousands of times. And I know that black's already better when you get these two pawns here. And I normally go over a plan of going just tacking over here now. Three pawns. And one of the good things about people say to me, beginners, they say, well, should I play lots of different openings? Should I just stick with the same opening? What should I do opening-wise? And I say just pick three openings. Pick one opening against d4. The Dutch is a good choice. Uh, why? They say, why? Why should I just pick one opening? And I say, well, because then you will know the middle game pawn structures, even the end game pawn structures. For example, in this opening you're seeing here, I even know in this opening that later on in the end game, the b3 and c4 pawns will be weak with a, a move like a4 so that's that's why that's why i recommend to people look you know it stick to the same openings really get to understand them really get to know them try to master them and that's got to be good eh? got to be good got to be the right way so okay i mean it's just a i'm not saying i'm a lot better here but it looks like a pleasant position to play to me uh, I say that, but my opponent's played an interesting move there trying to come in. So, okay, let's... I can't... It's quite hard for me to go F4 because E4 is always weak. But I'm kind of trying to play against the bishop on G2. That is uh, one of the main ideas with this idea. I play against this bishop here. But my opponent, all, all credit to him, seems to be playing pretty decent moves. Now, if he takes there, I've got some... I'm hoping I have some maybe trick with rook takes d4 and knight f3 check, followed by some quite insane complications of bishop takes here attacking his knight. I'm not really worried about this pawn anyway. Maybe I will be in an endgame, but it now seems okay, he's taking it. Fair play, as we say. So I could go, I've got, I've got rook here on knight f3 straight away, two critical moves. So I've got to uh, think very quickly here, of course. Uh, da, 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 da. They're critical. I don't, I don't know if they're that good, you know. I might just keep the tension with this move, even. Okay, I'll keep the tension. My opponent's a bit short of time. Because now when I go knight f3 check, I have possibilities. And my idea is this move at the right time. I wanted, to, I wanted him to move his queen back because then he loses control of c5. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if there was a better tactic than g4 there. But... Um, this seems to be, of course, going very well. So that's the thing. He grabbed this pawn here. It didn't work out too well for him. And now he's going to have to pay the price. And it could be a big price after this move. It's not just an exchange because I'm going to pick up another one of these guys, the rook or the knight. So 
Uh, it is time for you, sir, to throw in the towel, I believe. You know? Uh, what do they say, they say? Yes, I think I'll be taking that from you before you do any harm with it. Did you like that? Did you like that little sound effect? I thought that was quite funny. I like that. Nice little sound effect there. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, preparing some sound effects. And thank you. Um, I, I got an email about this site. And I will give you full credit. Um, let me just concentrate on the game first. When I have uh, pull up that email. Um, and yeah, it's a free sound site. So I'm going to start experimenting with some Ginger GM FFX effects. Something like that. I don't really know what I'm going on about, to be honest, but you get the idea, eh? Um, okay, so the Tromposki, and my opponent here is actually, I have to say, playing a good line of the Tromposki. The, the line that he's playing, transposing to a kind of French defence, always seems to be, a, a, to me, a good way for a good way for. Um, black to play this so i'm going to try to offer a pawn he can either take here which he has done and then i'm going to try to get some compensation with my knight coming to f3 don't know if this is going to be good enough it looks quite interesting to me i've got i've got a lead in development of course i'd like to get bishop check here but quite hard to do because his bishop's always coming to d7 that is really that's in my eyes a move like that is kind of suicidal i mean it might be okay but it just looks so risky to to. I mean, that is just greed, and you know we know what happens to greedy so and sos, don't we? They should be punished. They should be punished. How though? How? Okay. Well, um, I got ideas of moving the queen, moving the rook in. I got ideas of trying to get my knight in, but I'm not sure where my knight would be naturally going. Let's move the queen, because I can even try to come and now attack f7. Thing is, this king's always weak now, so I'm not really worried about the free pawns. All my pieces developed, all of my opponent's pieces are badly positioned here. So um, I'll just bring my last piece in. Stops his queen coming back to c7, and now queen to this square. f4 is, is going to be a real threat. So I expect he has to play a move like a6. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe he's just going to hold on here, um, but it just seems to me, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play like the way my opponent has. But that's me, that's me, and my opponent's obviously a braver soul than myself. Okay, so I'm just going to try and now keep an eye on the clock, obviously, and let's nibble. Now I wanted to move here first so I can nibble the h6 pawn if rook f8. And, well, I'm going to play here because I want to go knight d4, but I don't want to run into bishop g5. And this also gives me ideas of playing h5 at the right moment. Maybe with my bishop on d3. Some other idea here is to go simply h5. And again, even though I'm three pawns down, it just seems like my opponent has a real, real problem completing his development here. But I still need to break through. I'm not breaking through here. And probably, calling this computer, my opponent would be doing very well here. But we don't always listen to computers, do we? Okay, so if I go here, he has bishop here. Am I worried about this move on my rook? Um, well, I don't really want to allow that one, do I? Now, do I have any big blows here? Got to be careful of my time. I really think this is a move I should be playing. So what about we move my queen somewhere a bit more? He's going to go h5 then, isn't he? And block my idea. I mean, I'm going to have to be brave here. Give up, give up some more material. We, we, we don't care so much for this. Now, can I give up my queen? Uh, no. So I'll go here. Okay, maybe this is a bit too much. I might have just gone bonkers here. Um, but, you know, maybe I've just gone bonkers, actually. That's a good move, coming to g5. Okay, I, I, I've, I've gone bonkers, haven't I? Clearly... Clearly gone do lally here, and uh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to turn on the hustle button, especially with my clock time. Fuck a duck, fuck a duck. Okay, could be a very quick session here. Gonna have to go in hassle mode. Don't want to lose this one. Still got some pressure. I want to get my queen around here. I need to get my queen to b4. Let's think about this. I need to get my queen in on the dance squares. So this is what I need to do. Get the queen in. In on the dark squares. How many pieces down am I? 
400 million billion, I think, is round about the number down. So here comes my queen. Hustle mode. I'm pressing the button. Uh, 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 time to hustle. Get those pieces in. Oh, God, he's going to try to checkmate me on G2. We're not going to allow that. My bishop's going to come back. Solid. And now I need to get my queen in. If I get my queen in, you know, I, I still think... I still think this game on. And what's he doing? I don't know. So I'm going to try to get my queen in. My queen is aiming to come in. If he takes here, I've got knight here check. He's not going to take that because he loses his queen very little. And my bishop does a great job defending. So I need to sneak it in. Sneak it in. And this bishop does defends everything. So this is a big check here. I'm still I'm thinking now any result is possible. So let's sneak it in. And now I need to get my rook in because my rook's not doing anything. Okay, he can take here. And that does defend. Okay, that's a bit annoying. But we will try to come in with this piece. Nah, I didn't, shouldn't have done that. This is just not the right way to play my attack. Because uh, now his king can run to the hills. And we don't want kings running to the hills if we can help it. So I, I, I pulled back my bad position here, I feel. But I let it slip again. So now it's really all on the clock. The clock. And what the hell is he doing? Okay. Oh, God. What a patsa. Fuck a duck. Ugh. God damn it. What a patsa that was. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Well, we have one decider. No, I did say I wouldn't play anymore. One decider. Last. We'll just play one more. We'll do it if he wants to play. Maybe he's going to go in a... Buy himself a bottle of champagne, bastard, after that. Oh, I really should have won that one. I fought back nicely there. Um, but, okay, we'll make this one decider. Just a little short short video, because I should go and get some stuff done. Now I'm just going to put my knight back here, because I'm angry. I'm angry. And now I'm going to go for the Gary attack. Come on, Gary. Make my day, punk. And uh, he's made me angry now. I always thought h4 was a very good way to play against this, whatever opening it is I'm playing. I don't even know if it's got a name. I think it's called the warped flip-up variation, as we say in the trade. Grandmaster chat, that is. Okay, he's moved. Why, why do I keep missing he's moved? Am I some kind of... Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Come on. Right, okay. Okay, pieces need to come in the game, so that's where they will come. And it's a bit of a weird king's, uh, it's a weird, like, king's Indian, isn't it? I've got some tempo, so I'm going to play quicker. And I think, I think, I'm, I think this is, like, you know, the best I can hope. For. This is definitely not retreating. We're going forwards in life. We don't like going backwards in life. Now, if he takes here, I'm hoping I've got, oh, he's really trying to win this? This looks like a... Uh, Looks like I should be able to get some good counterplay somehow. Surely. 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 Here. Do I do this? Or do I go knight here trying to reroute? Or do I do something mental? Oh, would me do something mental? Let's do this one because now I'm going to try to get my knight to c5 with tempo. I'm going to try to go f5 with tempo. Oh, he's really asking for me to spank his bottom here, I feel. Okay. And I've got queen f6 coming, knight c5 coming. I need to use my a-pawn to to uh, lube him up over here. I'm not sure that's a very good terminology, but you, 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 you kind of get what I mean, do you? Um, okay, let's go here. Stop his knight coming in here. And I will, uh, I will, I will exterminate him like a fly. Somehow. I still need to like break through somehow here, but uh, this looks like this looks like an entertaining position. Um, my pieces look well. He's really really asking for me to again place this in his botteremo. So let's let's do it. Let's oblige. And he's trying to defend. Knight coming in here. Not too worried. I'm going to take here because it gives me. I mean, even something simple like rook here. Let's go rook here. My rook's not actually doing much on f8. I think I'd rather move my other rook there. But I think it's more important to play with speed. And uh, now he's going to try and... Well, I've got this this move. This this looks interesting. Bring another piece into the attack here. And surely my bishops are going to, gonna like, offload all over him. 
God, where's my language coming from today? Um, okay, right. So he's trying to do 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 uh, do things on time here. I guess my position should be good. Should be good, shouldn't it? He's uh, he's playing some good moves though. Why is that a good move, or do I just, or is it just a bad move? Well, I, I'll, I'll take the pawn. We might as well. Might as well. Might as well. And now I want to. I would love to play e4 here because then my pieces again spring to life. So he's stopping that. Okay, I'm just going to guard my extra pawn. Why not? And in the meantime, in the meantime, just control d5 as well. Okay, so he's come in. Don't, I don't like that rook there, so we'll try to get rid of his fucking bollocks to you, man. Oh, God, that would fall for such a move. Oh, fucking hell. Ah! It's one of those sessions again. How do I do... How, why do I do this to myself? I mean, like... It's such a great position, and I just play like such an imbecile. So, okay. I mean, really, really poor. And again, I'm going to have to get some miracle here. I'm feeling ashamed of myself here. What am I doing? My rating? I mean, okay, I'm going to have to do, I think, another stream where I just play until I get my rating up. You know, I think this is this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to, have to keep playing till I can somehow try to salvage, salvage my rating in a in some form because uh, it's it's getting embarrassing here. Oh my words! Have I just really? Has he really fallen into this? I did. I'm not complete pantser. I might just be a middle of the road pantser, but I did have an idea. Rook d1. You know what they say in the king. Yes, I think I'll be taking that from you before you do any harm with it. Oh yeah, we like it. Let me just hear those sound effects I made. I've got to hear them myself. One more time. Yes, I think I'll be taking that from you before you do any harm with it. Okay, good. Well, I, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Nice, sir. Uh, or should I play one more? Should I do one more? No, it's an addiction. You don't want to. It's like you know, stay away. We need to have, I think I might start, uh, um, if anyone wants to join me, I might start a class, like, you know, you know, have AA for Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, I, I might start a chess blitz rehab class, maybe a rehab camp where you can come along, but you can't play blitz. Rehab chess blitz camp with the Ginger GM. Entrance fee is a, uh, let's turn ourselves into alcoholics instead. It's a bottle of wine. Yeah, how about that? Do you think that'd be a good summer camp in England to go to? Anyone interested? Uh, I think we should just all play Blitz, actually. Forget this not playing Blitz. Uh, just to explain, in this position, obviously, if he goes King B1, which is really the only sensible move, he can go Queen uh, C3, but then I'll take his Queen, be a piece up. If he goes here, then put that in your pipe and smoke it, sir. Thank you very much. Until next time. Please like and subscribe. Just a little bit of chess there. What should I do next? I don't know. Maybe I'll do some game analysis next. Who knows? Who knows? The chess world is our oyster. Let me know what you prefer and I will listen to you guys. So, yeah, please like, subscribe. Thanks for doing. And uh, just buy all my DVDs, please. Cheers. Goodbye.